this video, we will be repairing the odometer in this 2001 Ford F-150. One of the many known issues with this era of Ford F-150 is the odometer turning on and off and being half lit. We will be correcting this. Taking a look through the driver's side door, we want to locate our headlamp switch. Taking a look at the bottom of our headlamp switch, we have a small slot for a trim removal tool and that headlamp switch will pull straight out. After pulling out that headlamp switch, we have two wiring harnesses, each held on by small plastic tabs. We need to depress the small plastic tabs and wiggle the wiring harness free. And behind that wiring harness, we do have one bolt that we need to remove. I am using a 9 30 seconds nut driver, although it is possible this is a metric size. Taking a look at our dash directly behind the steering wheel, we will be removing our trim piece. This piece is not held on by any screws or bolts, so we can gently pop that free. We can use a trim removal tool if necessary to help with that process. Moving the gear shifter would allow you to maneuver this out a little bit easier. Located directly on top of that instrument cluster, I have an additional trim piece that I need to remove. There are three 9 30 seconds bolts that I can remove. To the right of the steering wheel, we have two additional bolts that need to be removed. These two bolts are connected to that upper trim piece. To the left of our steering wheel, we have one additional bolt that needs to be removed. This bolt is also connected to that same trim piece. We can then begin to pry off our trim. And since this vehicle does have the adjustable pedals, we have an additional wiring harness behind our button that we need to remove. And there is a small clip on the back side of that wiring harness that needs to be depressed as we wiggle that off. And then we're at the point where we can maneuver that trim piece off. And it's always helpful to use a trim removal tool. Taking a look on the upper left and bottom left corners of our instrument cluster, we have two additional bolts that need to be removed. And much in the same, we have one on the top right as well as bottom right corners of that instrument cluster. All four of these bolts need to be removed before we proceed. And this is done using that same nine 30 seconds driver. At this point, our instrument panel should be loose and we can slide that out just a little bit. Taking a close look at our gear selector indicator, there are two tabs, one on each side, that need to be pressed inward for that indicator component to be released.
taking a look at the back side of the instrument panel. There are two wiring harnesses that need to be released. Each one of these wiring harnesses has a small tab that we need to depress as we wiggle out those wiring harnesses. Now that we have removed the gauge cluster, we can put that on our bench and take a look at the back side of it. We have seven locations with a Torx T15 screw. We want to remove all of those. And then we can remove that back panel. On our circuit board, we want to locate the ribbon cable and we can gently wiggle that off. Using my trim removal tool, I will gently work off that main board. And we can flip that board over and take a look at the back. And we're going to be taking a look specifically at the notched out portion towards the lower left side of the board. And if we zoom in on the furthest most lead, we can see that the solder connection is cracked. Now this is a very common occurrence on this generation of Ford F-150s. This is what we will be repairing. After having soldered that, we can reinstall the board onto our instrument panel and reconnect our ribbon cable. We can then add our back cover plate and our seven T15 Torx screws. We can then reinstall our panel back into the vehicle, making sure to connect both wiring harnesses and installing that gear selection gauge. Next we have our four screws holding the panel in. After that we have our upper trim piece and I'm going to connect that pedal wiring harness while I'm installing this. And followed by our four lower screws, our two wiring harnesses on our headlamp switch. And that last piece of trim. We can fire it up and see if everything works. and everything looks really good.